Welcome to another episode of the J Stone Show at RockMetalTalk.com. Ah, it's been a fun and interesting day. Sorry about that. I had to move my microphone. Um, I'm getting some type of delay, so I can't listen to the headphones. So it's it's really starting to aggravate me. But um, I, I don't know what to say about the echo, man. It's a, it's every day. It's something else. It doesn't matter what type of system I have or where it's going or what board's hooked up or what microphone's hooked up. It, it, it always seems to be something to interrupt my day. But what you heard right there was Lady Your Roof Brings Me Down off the first Scott Weiland uh, solo CD called 12, Bars, 12 Bar Blues. It was uh, very inspirational at a young, younger age for me musically. Um, he's a big influence for me, uh, as most of you know that listen to the show in the past. So I, I hope everything sounds all right out there. Um, I played the Not Today Lady in the beginning of the show because I, I just get a kick out of that fucking thing. Um, I've been imitating it for the past few days, so it's been fun as far as that goes, but... Um, I just, I, I, I really got to figure out what's going on with the system or I just got to forget this new board and just go back to my old radio board and just use this strictly for recording. I was trying to make everything simple, but you know, in my world that, that doesn't happen. Nothing simple. If I buy something from Walmart, I return it. 
If I buy something from fucking Sears, I have to return. If I buy something from anywhere, I have to return. And if I go to a restaurant, I don't get service. I don't get, unless I go to the restaurant that I go to every week for the past 18 years or whatever it's been at this point, I get, I, I don't get service. I, we get treated like fucking, I, I don't know. We go in, we wait an hour and 20 minutes for Denny's. Oh, they want to give you a free entree. Yeah, I'm going to go into Denny's now and go get a free entree with my name on a list so you can shit my fucking omelet. Give me a gift card so no one knows I'm the complainer. We said, I walked a fucking mile to go to Denny's and then we didn't even, we order and they lose our ticket and everybody's eating around us and they're like, well, oh, well, uh, well, fucking how about you go find our fucking ticket, dick stick. And go make our fucking food. I just walked a mile to get here. Because my car's getting fixed. And fucking tires and an oil change. Down the block. Can, can, can I have something to fucking eat? But. Whatever. That's not the point of the show. The point of the show is to bring you music. So we got stuff. Um, from Sister Kill Cycle. Monster Magnet. Sinistar. Um, Novaria. Uh, the Cranberry Chronicles and uh, a bunch of other bands so I'd like to get to some of that so uh, the Cranberry Merchants I'm sorry uh, I don't know where my head is today the Cranberry Merchants um, good thing I caught that um, they're a new band that was submitted to me so through social media so I promised those guys I'd get them on the air uh, interesting reminds me of when I was working with uh, good old Dust Man up in New York it's just reminded me of that so that's why I'm giving it a, a shake on the show. So uh, we're still being syndicated in all the avenues that we normally are. So I'm happy about that. Uh, been working a lot. I just got over two days of being fucking sick again. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to do a show. But, you know, as soon as I come back, something happens. So I, I got to kind of struggle through it. Um, doing two shows a day on 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 uh, TV as far as Facebook Live and Roku and all of that. Um, so I'm doing this on my days off again. Um, we got some exciting news. Uh, Sister Kill Cycle has signed the record deal, so Raven's probably going to come on the show shortly. We were trying to arrange it where he came on this week, but uh, you know I want to promote it and stuff. But uh, one of my friends and old guitar players actually signed to the label Current and Call Records. So congratulations to to Raven, or if he's going by Sean now, you know his his other name. Uh, congratulations on the record deal. Um, I hope it all works out. You know it's it, it's hard to maintain stuff like that in this day and age. Or, or even get someone that's interested. Um, uh, they they're probably I think the best one of the best bands on the label. Um, they deserve it. They're one of the best bands in the Tampa Bay area. Uh, as far as songwriting and style, in my opinion, that's my style of music. That's the style I like. Um, uh, they're probably the heaviest and, you know, probably the most shocking label that's going to be on the, uh, the most shocking band that's going to be on that label. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what, what happens and, and, and where it goes for them. Cause some of those artists from Curtain Call Records are actually charting and, you know, advancing up in, you know, the music world. So it's good to see that there's still an interest in, in Florida metal and, and rock and, and, and industrial and, and the goth scene because that's the type of music I love. So um, uh, I'm really proud that he stuck to his guns all these years and is going to get to release an album, you know, distributed worldwide through Sony. So go out and buy the album. I'm not sure of any more details, but I'm sure we'll get it out of him eventually. He's been a friend of the show for many years and um, he's been a close friend of me and my wife's for, you know, quite a bit of time. So we're going to move along with the show. Um, I got a bunch of songs to play. I don't have much to talk about. There's one guy who was busting balls at a concert to someone wearing a Trump shirt. You know what? You're in this country. I don't know what the obsession is with other countries and our president. I don't talk politics. I don't give a fuck. But leave your music separate. Leave your your opinion separate. You're in this country making U.S. dollars. Just take it for what it is. The, if you think the president sucks, leave it be. 
why why mix that? Why make hate? You want free promotion, I understand. But for just as many people that are going to applaud you for it, you may lose just as many fans for it. So it, it doesn't work out to your advantage. As much as the free press does, I don't feel that having a political statement or being a uh, someone of influence should put that influence on another person. That person should be educated on who they're going to vote for and do the education themselves and not listen to what someone else believes because they're a fan of your music. You put the some type of wrong... You can blame musicians and guys like Marilyn Manson for mass shootings, but when you put some jackass or whatever you feel in office... That doesn't have any influence on it then either. So, you know, it's wishy-washy. We're in a weird situation in the world. The government shut down. I don't know. It really hasn't affected my life in any way right now. But um, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it's eventually going to catch up. But all those people all get their paychecks in the end when the government starts running again. But whatever. This isn't a political show. I could care less. I just think that musicians should separate themselves businesses should separate themselves i watched a video of a guy going into a vape shop and because he had a uh make america great again hat on the guy wouldn't fucking help him just take the guy's money you, you should want more of his money because you don't like him I just just take business should be separated I'd fire you instantly for talking politics if I was your boss. That's one of the only reasons and not showing up on time or for your scheduled shift with, you know, lame excuses or whatever. But that's that's just me. I mean, I politics don't belong mixing with your business, your religion. None of that belongs mixed together. It always starts trouble. Don't go to a bar and talk politics.